What's up guys, I'm back again with another video and today we have some good news. Well, kind of, maybe. If you're into blocky packages and layered clothing, this is especially good news because it turns out Roblox have finally fixed layered clothing for like the default R15 Roblox avatars. You guys know what these are. Normally, if you were to wear layered clothing on these types of bundles, it would just look really bad. Sometimes you'd like select a jacket to wear on your avatar and it would literally look like your avatar was wearing like a balloon or like an inflatable bouncy castle or something. Yeah, for the longest time, guys, layered clothing on blocky R15 characters looked terrible. I'm honestly not surprised nobody really used it. So shout out to Blocks and News here. They covered this sort of update thing. They said a new fitting algorithm for layered clothing is now available in beta. This new algorithm was designed with the goal of reducing the bulkiness of multi-layered clothing and producing more visually pleasing and realistic looking dressed Roblox avatars. So we can see here it's like the default sort of R15 block guy and previously it would look like this so yeah that's what i was talking about it kind of looked like inflated it looked like they'd stuck a bicycle pump in it and just filled it up with air or something but apparently now it's a load better i'm not gonna lie it still looks a bit too puffy i know it is a puffer jacket but they could have made it a bit like slimmer to fit in with the character also the jeans didn't change too much i guess that's whatever i guess we can try it out in today's video i guess it's good news that robux still care about blocky avatars because you know how like Roblox has been super afro obsessed recently and it was getting to a point where it was just getting annoying everything Roblox did every update every fix it was all about afro and nobody really cares about afro it's ugly it's terrible so yeah let's go and try the new lead clothing update so I think well I'm gonna have to change my avatar from r6 to r15 because yeah unfortunately lead clothing is still not r6 supported and honestly it probably never will be that's a hint Roblox might remove r6 in the future but yeah that's not talk about that today. So what I'm going to do guys is go into clothing, t-shirts and yeah we're going to start off by selecting a t-shirt because normally this glitch or sort of like problem I guess you could say occurred is if you'd wear a t-shirt and then add in some like jacket or like a coat on top. So we can see with t-shirts they look perfectly fine. Maybe it's a bit baggy around the sleeves but hey I like baggy t-shirts anyway they're pretty cool. So let's go and try a jacket. I believe I did try this before and it was really bad so maybe we can try like a puffer jacket or something. The last time I tried this it made my avatar just look like some fat, ugly, like inflatable character and it just looks stupid. So here we are and I've got to admit it's a little bit better but not that better. It looks okay from the front but when you look at it from the sides you really notice it just looks like a balloon or something. I guess not too bad. Let me add some pants and some shoes and maybe we can take a close look in a game or something. So let me go and select some, oh yeah the uh, chainsaw man pants. I thought that was pretty cool. They got changed into layered clothing. Let me add some shoes as well. I think I've got some Timberlands. There you go. Some nice classic Timberland walking boots. Let's go and add those as well. I've got to be honest guys, it's only a little bit better. Maybe 10% better. The thing is, when I turn my avatar to the side, the clothing is still way too big. It just looks like my avatar is wearing clothing, which is like five or six sizes too big. I don't know. Like I was saying in the avatar editor, it's not bad from the front, but when you turn your avatar around, you do notice it looks a bit bulky. It looks like that that stupid um, little pump music video thing. That was a meme a few years ago. Damn, I kind of missed those times actually. I'm also noticing wearing all these clothes caused the shoes to look incredibly squashed and glitchy. So I don't really know what's going on there. But yeah, honestly, so far, I don't really like this update. It didn't really fix anything if I'm being honest. Maybe I could try like changing the order of the clothes. Would that fix the shoes? Maybe I could put the t-shirt on top or something. Um, No, the shoes are still bugged. Wait, that bugs it even more. If you put a t-shirt on top, it looks even bigger. Oh dear. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world, guys, because we do have something else we can try. Now, UGC creators, right, they realized that lead clothing on blocky avatars is not really any good. So what they ended up doing is making lead clothing especially designed for blocky avatars. I've been meaning to make a video on these for such a long time, so let's finally go and check it out. I'll leave a link to this down below in the video's description, but I'm just on all clothing. I typed in one 1.0. They do stuff for 3.0 as well, but I know lead clothing mostly bugs out on 1.0, so that's what we're going to be checking out. And as you can see, well, they've got the converters. I already made videos on these. But they have like jackets, they've got pants, they've got shoes, they've got hoodies. You name it, there is a really good selection of 1.0 lead clothing. They've even got like karate uniforms and stuff like that. I've been told quite a lot of this stuff looks very good, so maybe I can try and make a 1.0 outfit or something. Let's go with this drip hoodie. It kind of reminds 
reminds me of that FTP all over hoodie and it also reminds me of that Supreme North Face hoodie I think that was like a meme a year ago or something. So this is 50 Robux I'm just gonna go and buy it. It looks okay. We also have some 1.0 lead clothing pants and these do look pretty good. I like their dragon design they've got going on. Looks very early 2000s. 100 Robux so pretty expensive considering normal clothing would be like what 5 Robux? Anyway let's just go and buy it. And I also found some shoes for the R15 blocky so these are 69 Robux which is a pretty questionable price but anyway let's go and buy these and yeah I guess we've got a full outfit. So the question is guys is this going to be better than the standard lead clothing? I'm probably going to say yes but obviously we've got to test it out so let me go and wear all three and yeah we can just join a game straight away. So let's check out 1.0 clothing. Honestly my first impressions it's a lot better than the standard lead clothing because obviously it's a lot less bulky it just fits the avatar so much nicer. Yeah I kind of like this avatar the only thing I didn't like so much was the shoes because they're way too high but obviously there's more than one shoe on the avatar shop so yeah I did actually change it. I changed it to these ones and yeah they seem to work a lot better. They were a bit buggy the pants was clipping through them just a tiny bit but hey it's still a lot better than the standard layered clothing so if you guys like R15 you like blocky avatars and you want to wear layered clothing make sure to go down below to the link in the video's description and who knows maybe you can find something you like but yeah there we are it's good Roblox is still thinking about blocky avatars but honestly I don't really think they fixed the lead clothing problem. So I did quickly check out Roblox's post about this over on the developer forum and I just realized that not every game might have got this working just yet because like I was saying yeah it still is a beta feature. So apparently the Roblox game has to go into settings and like actually enable it. I guess Roblox hasn't like enabled this globally if that makes sense. So maybe I can try this quickly inside of my own game. It looks like lead clothing has gone weird in my game anyway but if I go to file and then beta features it's called multi-layer wrap fix so if I just go down to M oh it's enabled already multiplayer wrap fix so if I just go and save then I guess if I just go and play it so uh, just you know play it still looks the same okay maybe it's a bit better I'm guessing the catalog avatar creator probably had it turned on already because honestly it's doing the same thing it was in that game so I still don't know if Roblox have fixed this like you know that well it's a bit better than what it was before but honestly not that much